Good afternoon. Welcome to the latest edition of Off the Cuff here at Oswego City Hall. We've had an extremely busy month here uh, with some ribbon cuttings of some new public amenities and some events that are coming up quick. So I want to start by uh, finally uh, announcing that we've opened and cut the ribbon on Sheldon Beach. Uh, this is the area also known as Flat Rock out behind the Oswego Water Plant by the SUNY campus. If you look at some old photos, the uh, this area was previously just a vacant gravel parking lot. It was very ruddy, was unsafe getting down to the water. There was a building uh, there that needed to be demolished and uh, some trees that needed to be cleared. So uh, we took $100,000 of our ARPA funding from the federal government and used it to pave the parking lot, add some green space, add some benches, some picnic tables, a novelty chair, and we also uh, installed some riprap along the shoreline to prevent some erosion, but also to allow for safe, more safe, better access to uh, the waterfront. So uh, we're happy to finally complete that project. It was a little delayed because uh, of some other projects we had going on last fall. We wanted to get it open last fall, but uh, finally got it open this month. So appreciate everybody's patience, and I encourage you to get down and check out the area. It's similar to what we did. Uh, to Lakeside Park over at East 10th and a Half Street. We also opened uh, recently the new um, rotary playground known as the Train Express Playground on East 1st Street. Uh, this is uh, in Rotary Park, which is at the end of the pedestrian bridge on East 1st. So uh, this was first announced in my State of the City address earlier this year, uh, but this was a project we wanted to do for the smallest children in our community. We looked at all the other parks we did and. Uh, noticed that m most of the parks were catering towards older kids, uh, like 8 to 12 years old, um, and had some higher structures, some more complex structures and play areas. So we wanted to do something a little different, install a playground that was suitable to the youngest in our community. So this playground is designed for kids from 3 to 7 years old, for them to be able to play safe and, and have the fixtures be relatable to their age and interest and skills. Uh, there's also a unique component to this project. We installed some outdoor music equipment. So if you check it out, you'll see some weather resistant xylophones or uh, other type of percussion percussion instruments that uh, the kids can play with. Uh, really, that's meant for kids of all ages. So that's something new and unique. And I think uh, the, the kids will enjoy. We also fenced in the area because it is a busy street. We wanted the kids to be able to be safe. So the area is, uh, is fenced in and I think complements the rest of the surrounding area nicely. We also opened the uh, Splash Indoor Water Park finally, and I'm very excited about this because this is the uh, 12th and final DRI project that's, that is completed, and we are officially the first DRI community in the state to complete all of our projects in the entire DRI uh, package. So I'm enormously proud about that. This goes back to 2016 uh, when we first awarded the grant. Then in 2017, we identified the projects we were going to do. And here we are some six years later with all 12 of them complete. And they're all 12 from the original list. So it's pretty cool to be able to get that done. Uh, the indoor water park specifically is great. I was there for the soft opening. We're gonna have a, an official ribbon cutting uh, later in July, but um, it's just a great facility. It was well worth the wait. You see the uh, the amenities they have. The water park itself is great with a splash pad for children of all ages. They have two great slides. Uh, they have a big pool, big hot tub. It's really a, a cool place. And then on the second level, they have an arcade, which is very impressive. Um, I walked through that and spent quite a bit of time in there. They have plenty of games. And then the third story is a bar and party room for people who want to host uh, birthday parties or uh, family events. So it really is a cool facility. I encourage you to check it out and I'm sure it'll be uh, a great new asset and an attraction for people, not only in Oswego, but from all around the central New York community. Um, and a little bit of less fun news, we've installed um, some additional security measures in Wright's Landing Marina and Brightbeck Park. For one reason or another, we've had a group of teenagers here in the city, uh, for whatever reason, stealing stuff off of um, charter boats in the marina, and then also vandalizing uh, the McCroby building, the bathrooms in the marina, and the latest has been the outdoor fitness court, have the 
graphic ripped off on the lake side of the structure. So we installed all new cameras. These are high definition cameras with very clear pictures and they're 24 hour uh, surveillance. And not only are they recording 24 seven, but during uh, the overnight hours, there's actually somebody watching the cameras. So we contracted with this company named Securitas and they do what they call remote guarding. So the cameras will record and during evening hours when they sense motion, the camera will light up and somebody's actually watching that camera live uh, in contact with the authorities. So um, I think that'll drastically cut back the amount of um, vandalism and crime being committed uh, in this area. And again, it's not, I don't think it's a widespread uh, concern. I think we have an isolated group of uh, juveniles that for whatever reason um, like to destroy things and steal things. So. Uh, we're tracking them down. The, the problem is they're not old enough to actually get in any trouble, so it goes through family court, turns into a whole nother matter. So we're doing our best to prevent this stuff from happening again, and hopefully these cameras make a big difference. Lastly, we have some great events coming up. We are kicking off the first week of our summer concert series with the band Little Queen down on Veteran Stage. That starts on uh, Thursday nights from 6 to 9 p.m. Uh, Movies in the Park, hosted by the Oswego County Federal Credit Union, begins this week. And then finally, Independence Day weekend is always an exciting time. Sunday, we'll be kicking off the Independence Day Parade down State Route 104 at 1 o'clock. And then we have a great program set up for the block party here on West 1st Street outside City Hall. We have a ton of children activities that will be free. Some will, some will, you will have to pay. A lot of displays. The businesses along West 1st will bring their uh, seating out into the uh, street. We'll have some additional food vendors. And then off the reservation, we'll play, I think, around 5 or 6 o'clock. So it's going to be a great program, and I encourage you to uh, get down. We've had, uh, last year, we had great success with the three block parties, so we're only doing one this year, so you don't want to miss it. And it's all capped off by fireworks over the Oswego River at 945, and it's always a great firework display launching from the pedestrian bridge. So it's a super fun um, weekend. I would encourage you to check out great viewing places like uh, the West First Street area. The Rooftop Lounge is a great view. The Aqua Spa has a great view. East Side Riverwalk has a great view. So um, get down, check it out if you haven't been to a block party before. And if you have, you know what to expect. It's always a great time. Busy month, uh, and there'll be more to come next month. So thank you for tuning in, uh, and I'll talk to you next month.